Hello, hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Sony Xperia Z2. We're going to take a look at how to connect the DualShock 3 controller to this handset. Now, Sony have allowed for us to do this with no routing whatsoever by heading into your settings, Xperia connectivity, and then DualShock 3 wireless controller. I'm going to hit how to connect a controller. Now, in the same manner that you would connect the controller to your gaming console, it needs to be connected up with a lead first of all so that the initial pairing can take place. So grab the cable that came with your console and plug the one end into your DualShock 3 controller and the other end of that cable needs to be plugged into this USB on the go cable. Now this only costs a couple of pounds here in the UK and a couple of dollars in the States. As ever I'll try and leave a link down in the description down below if you're after one and as you can see along the one side you've got a standard USB 2.0 connector which plugs in like so and the other end has a micro USB connector which plugs in to the power outlet. You'll notice on the screen the next button is greyed out so you can't tap it. So once all the leads are connected the controller may automatically turn on so those lights start flashing but don't worry if it doesn't simply hit the PlayStation button so the lights start flashing and it becomes available to other Bluetooth devices. Now in a perfect world the next button should automatically become available once that controller starts flashing its lights. So if it doesn't all you need to do is just make sure the leads are all connected in to your handset and working okay as you can see mine wasn't because that next button is now available to hit so I'm going to hit that and it says disconnect the USB adapter cable you can now play wirelessly once paired you can use it at any time by pressing the PlayStation button on the controller and you can see the number one is flashing on the controller so this is now paired so I'm going to remove the cable from the controller and the handset here and we should be able to still play violet wirelessly there we go not wirelessly but wirelessly we'll just load up a couple of games here see how well it plays we're in grand theft auto san andreas here and the controls are a little bit inverted here so let's see we can cycle through the views by pressing select that works pretty well and the right analog stick is rotating the camera angle there and let's see what the r1 and l1 l1 gives you the health status and there you go the r2 and l2 cycle through the weapons let's see how easy it is to shoot x to shoot maybe no um, okay triangle to shoot and as i say buttons are a little bit inverted triangle doesn't get you into a car it looks like it's circle so let's see if we can go forward no x doesn't get you forward square does because as i say the controls are a little bit inverted and i haven't figured out a way of mapping them correctly because there doesn't seem to be an app as standard which allows you to do so but hey ho the gameplay is pretty awesome though the controller feels right at home with this classic retro game being sonic the hedgehog from sega and controls work natively as you would expect with no messing around whatsoever unfortunately you can't seem to pair the playstation 4 controller with this uh Xperia Z2 out of the box as easily as you can with the PlayStation DualShock 3 controller. We're still paired up with the Z2 with Dead Trigger. Now I did have to mess around a little bit in the controls of Dead Trigger in order to map the buttons correctly because natively out of the box it doesn't map any of the buttons in Dead Trigger so you have to go into the settings of Dead Trigger and then map whatever buttons you prefer and it plays really good to be fair, I gotta admit, it does play really, really good for a first person shooter. And there we have it guys, that's how easily you can connect your DualShock 3 controller with your Sony Xperia Z2 smartphone. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and you liked what you saw. And if you found it informative, then please do give us a like. And if you haven't yet done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can always check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.